I didn't want to go to Gil's party. Why bother? I'd spend the entire night trying to work up the courage to talk to Julie. And like always, I'd fail. Fortunately, my friend Doug had a plan. Unfortunately, it involved alien drugs. Dude, he said, before tonight's over, you and Julie are going to snog fest. Kimberly told me where we could find a Rocky. It's a sure thing. The guy will hook us up with some Shakespeare. Doug, your sister hates me. Whenever I come over, she just glares at me. Why would she want to help me? What are you talking about? She's just going through a moody phase. Now listen, her best friend's stepfather's dental technician is dating a Samoan who runs a sushi bar. So? Dude, Rocky's fixate on weird combos. This one has a weekly hankering for having a Samoan serve at sushi. This afternoon, after it had some negatoro maki, the little fuzzy will be so blissed he'll be dripping with bard. Even if you're right, what makes you think I want any of that stuff? Doug smiled. Dude, if we show up at Gills with Shakespeare, you'll be the hit of the party. Julie will be rushing to talk to you. Now shut up and get in the car. And it happened just like that, at least the first part. We, mm, we drove to Gakaoko Sushi and parked in the alley outside along some old crates and discarded plumbing. And yeah, we found a Rocky inside, one of those two foot tall aliens with the short gray fur and the webbing under their arms. It was eating Basashi when we came in. When it finished, it followed us to the car. The Rocky started milking some gland it had until it filled a water bottle. You're both my boys now, it said, in that liver puddly and accent all Rockies have. You really helped me out. Now, try it. What, here? Oh, yes, it is our way. You must sample at the time of giving. Dude, go ahead. I've got to stay sober to drive us to the party. I took a sip, resealed the bottle, and waited to see if the play was the thing. Nothing at first, and then everything. Then the drug dealer showed up. I warned you, Gidney. No dealing your shit on my turf. Now you pay. I blinked. Poor Laertes, come to satisfy his honor? So be it. I nodded his way and chose my weapon. This likes me well. These foils have all the length. Dude, put that pipe down. I can talk us out of this. Horatio could not deter me. I beckoned to Polonius' son. Come on, sir. What skill he might once have had must needs have fled. Of defense he had none. Of offense even less. I struck. One! Motherfucker! Judgment! I called. From somewhere Osric admitted. A hit. A very palpable hit. You broke his arm! Dude, get in the car! We're out of here!